Hi guys, it's Becky Bamboo. Good morning. It is uh, Sunday, October 20th of 2013. Today is my birthday. Yay, happy birthday to me. Um, I turned 34 today, so, you know, not any milestone by any means, but another year older, another year closer to 40, that whole thing. I don't know why, but 40 is going to freak me out. Um, 30 was fine, 35 is going to be fine, but 40 is going to freak me out. I just know it is. But I still have six years to go, so we're okay. Um, so, yeah, it's my birthday today. I ended up taking my little buddy out this morning for breakfast. I've been telling everybody he took me to breakfast, and um, he did. I need to teach him better because he didn't pay the bill. So, <laughs> um, But we had a good time. We went to the IHOP, and I haven't been out to breakfast in a long time. And I thought, for my birthday, that's what we're doing. We're going to go, me and him are going to go to breakfast. So we did. Um, I, I just enjoy getting out with him, and he's so much fun, he's so adorable, and he's doing more and more stuff all the time, which is really fun, and he's getting more interactive, and he's getting to be a bigger pain in the ass at the same time, because they tend to do that, but that's okay, um, you know, it's fun. So, um, we did that, and then this afternoon, the park that's right near my house has this festival every year, and this year it happens to fall on my birthday, it's always on us, like, the third Sunday of October, so... Um, there's a, you know, it's always really close to my birthday, but to this year it's on my birthday, which is kind of fun. So, um, I'm getting Zeke a nap right now. It's what time is it? 9.30. And, um, you know, we are going to go to Park Fest. That's what it's called, Park Fest, after a while. And, uh, it's just, it's a kind of just a little, like, get-together thing. Um, they have little food vendors and, um, usually sell beer and wine and, they have like old cars and tractors for the kids to look at and there's always a big used book sale and um, usually there's pet adoptions and stuff like that. So it's just like a whole bunch of people and you know, it's, it's nothing too extravagant but it's something to do. So we're going to go to the park after a while and uh, that should be fun for the two of us. Um, what else has been going on? So uh, I kind of owe you guys an update on everything related to the marriage situation and it's just not a good this is not a good fun video fun thing to talk about um basically um last weekend Jared asked me to go to counseling with him he had been seeing a counselor so he asked me to go with him and I agreed so we went Wednesday night to the counselor and um did this kind of questionnaire where we both had to like rate different parts of our marriage and um basically yeah, it's not good um she in just an hour with us determined that in her words we're worlds apart and um that it would she said at the time it's going to take a lot if you both even want to put this together and I was honest, and I just said, you know, I, I don't really know what I want. I really don't know what I want. And um, so, anyway, she um, she asked me to meet with her individually to kind of help, not necessarily point me in the right direction, but kind of feel through my thinking and feelings and maybe help me make a, a better decision about what needs to happen for me. So um, I did that Friday night. I went and met individually with her for an hour. And, um, basically came to the conclusion that this is not going to work out for me and him. And, um, you know, that's kind of what's been in my gut for a while now. Like, you know, probably over a year, really, that, um, I'm holding on to something that's not really there anymore. And, um, so she kind of validated everything I was feeling and thinking and, um, kind of the night we were together, you know, more or less validated to him that, like, he had kind of stopped doing his part of what a marriage was supposed to be and that, you know, we have no intimate relationship and we have no connection whatsoever, essentially, other than, I mean, basically we've become friends and roommates is what it's been for the last several years, so... It's kind of, it's really hard, it's not kind of hard, it's really hard to have all those feelings validated, but at the same time, it makes me feel a lot less crazy, because I've been feeling so crazy, especially the last few months, like, am I just being too, too hard, am I just being, you know, like, am I expecting too much, and, 
you know, basically it was validated to me that I'm not, I have, my expectations are actually probably on the low side and that I just have someone in my life who's not, who can't fulfill what I need. And, um, <clears throat> you know, she made it pretty clear to me in our individual session that, you know, Jared's got a lot of work that he needs to do on himself and that he needs to continue counseling. And, um, I, you know, I've said that for a long time to him and I just don't think he's really wanted to accept that. And so it's hard to, um, at the end of the, you know, a very stressful week, walk away knowing that our marriage is done and that I am, you know, the ball's in my court to basically need to file for divorce. And I don't know when I'm going to do that. It's coming, it's going to come, you know, I've got a lot of stuff I need to figure out on like where this process even begins for me. Um, and it makes me really sad because what I was hopeful for was going Wednesday night and her saying, there's hope for you. Let's work on it. Um, but by the end of Friday night, after meeting with him individually, it is totally the opposite way. That there's really not any hope at this point. <clears throat> You're too far gone. You're, you know, and she kind of uh, affirmed for me what I've been feeling about myself over the last few years, which is I've worked really hard to become who I wanted to be post weight loss surgery. I've, you know, strengthened my mind and my body and my soul and, um, you know, all really good, healthy things that I've done for myself. But in the process, I've discovered that I was settling for forever with somebody who wasn't fulfilling what I needed from a relationship. And, um, you know, that's hard to hear. It's hard to hear, you know, someone basically come out and say like your marriage is over um even though I've been feeling it for a long time it's still like when it's verbalized it's a, it's a totally different feeling and it makes it hard because Thursday was our four-year wedding anniversary so everything's come all in one week you know we meet with the therapist one night and then it's our wedding anniversary and then I meet with her the next night and then now it's my birthday everything's just hit all at one time and um yeah, I'm emotionally tired of a lot of it, you know, and that's what she told me Friday night is that, you know, just, just in a couple hours of sitting and talking with me, she's figured out a few things about me. And when she's telling me all this, I feel like she just hits the nail on the head. Like, you know, you've got yourself figured out, you know what you want from your life. You've figured out who you are and what you stand for and what you're willing to settle for. And you've basically discovered that you're not willing to settle for what you have and that you deserve more and that you're right. You deserve to be happy and this isn't making you happy. So stop beating a dead horse and move on. So <sighs> I'm very sad. I know I'm just trying very hard not to like lose it emotionally on my video. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It sucks. Um, and you know, we were scheduled to see her again as a couple this week on Tuesday and I had to come home Friday night and tell him, you know, she's going to be expecting you to come alone, um, Tuesday and that there's, we're done and there's nothing I can, else I can say or do. And, um, you know, he's, his reaction to that was the same that it's been to a lot of things, um, in the last few years, which is no reaction at all. Just completely shut off, shut down. Um, no words, can't verbalize, can't tell me how he feels, thinks anything else. Um, you know, when you, you can't have a relationship with somebody who can't communicate with you. And that's what it's been for many years now. So, you know, uh, telling him that and getting that reaction was kind of like that. Okay, I did the right thing here. I'm doing the right thing for me. I'm doing the right thing. Now, you know, there's always that second part of you when you have a child involved that's going, you're making a mistake for your kid. And I'm trying not to think of it like that. And, you know, the the therapist basically told me you need to let go of those feelings because that's not at all what's going on and he needs to he needs to be with a family that um you know where there's love he needs to see that there's love um in both of your lives and and that you can give him love by virtue of that growing up in a relation in a family where parents don't love each other is not going to be a good situation and i completely agree because i grew up like that so um, you know, I, I just want, I want him to know that he's, that, that 
he's loved and in a way it makes it easier that he is so little that he's not going to remember any of this stuff. He's going to basically always know us as being separate and you know, I hope that we're that I'm doing the right thing. I don't know, but I I my my heart and my gut tell me that it's time to move on and to find something different and to do something different and you know, I uh, even I, I even before we got married, I confessed that you know I I wasn't sure we were doing the right thing, and in hindsight, we definitely didn't do the right thing by getting married. But you can't second guess those things because that puts you where you are. And you know, without getting married, I wouldn't have my son, and without my son, I'm not anything because he's created a whole new life for me. So, you know, I it's just one. I don't know. Um, I will always love Jared. I know that. You know. Um, but you, there's only so much that one person can love the couple. And, you know, you can't love the couple enough to make it work. And that's what I was trying to do. I was, I was trying to love us enough to make him into something that he's not. And, you know, I just, I got to quit with that. So bottom line is, is that I am going to be getting divorced. And um, I don't know when I'm going to file. Like I said, I... Uh, I have to do some research and I've got to, you know, start finding out financially when am I going to be able to afford this and how are we going to make this work and how nasty is it going to get in the process because I have a feeling that, it, you know, there's always that potential, when, especially with a child involved, that things could get nasty and, um, you know, how demanding is he going to be on things and um, essentially all that I am going to ask for is that the house remains with me and one car remains with me, which shouldn't be a problem because one car is in my name and one car is in his name. So that shouldn't be an issue. Um, and I don't even care which car I keep. It makes me no difference whatsoever. You know, we have a new car and we have an older car. It, I really don't care if I take the older car, fine. It, I don't even care about that. I want the house. That's the only thing that I really want. Um, so, you know, I, it, and I mainly want that for my son. I want to keep him in a home. I want to keep him in the school district that we're in. Um, you know, it's not going to be that many years till he's going to be going away to going to starting school. So, you know, I, I, that's the reason I want it is just for that whole mental thing of like keeping him in some kind of stable place. So, I don't know where this is going to go. You know, I just it's, it's there's a long road ahead of me, and I and I recognized after talking to this lady twice that um, I'm going to need some individual counseling to get me through this divorce. I'm just, I already know it, and I'm not ashamed to admit it and say it. So, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm in the process of finding myself someone to see. So, anyway, that's where we are with that. Um, Thursday this week, I followed up with my surgeon for my three-year post-op visit. No, I was three years post-op back in June, but my annual follow-up just happens to fall in October. So I followed up with him. All of my lab work is perfect. Um, my weight was really good. I actually lost eight pounds over the last year, which doesn't seem like a lot. But, you know, at three years post-op, hey, it's <laughs> the scale's still going down, and I'm okay with that. Um, did an upper GI in the, in the office, and my pouch and everything looks perfect. Everything is perfect. So, um, the surgeon said, I'm, you know, you're right where I want you to be. Yes, I'd like to see you drop a little bit more weight because I think that your body could tolerate being a little smaller yet. Um, yes, I understand you have an exorbitant amount of skin that, you know, would change the scale pretty significantly if you had it removed. So, you know, you got, we got to consider that too. But, you know, overall, he's just really happy with, with everything and that I'm physically active and, you know, I'm, I basically, I'm like, I follow the rules and that's kind of what it is. So he's always, you know, happy with me. And uh, so it's nice. It's, it feels good to go to uh, my follow-up and know, like, my cholesterol's good. My protein levels are good. My vitamin levels are good. Like, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing to take care of myself. And that's where I'm supposed to be. So, uh, so that's what, you know, weight loss surgery life is doing okay. Personal life is in turmoil, but it's going to get better. And I, that's the, the good thing about having been through all this now is that, um, I'm emotionally starting to let go of the fact that, uh, I, you know, of letting go of this crappy relationship and I'm ready to start, um, exploring new things in my life. It's a, it's a time for me to find new positivity, you know, and, uh, so that's a good thing. Um, anyway, that's it. 
that's the update. I'll talk to you guys soon. Mwah. Love y'all. Bye.